Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another beer review. And in this one, uh, this beer caught me by surprise, actually. This was in Morrison's. And um, it caught me by surprise because I looked at the two breweries who have collabed on this. And I thought, oh, that's surprising. Because it caught me by surprise. Boys and girls. <laughs> Boys and girls, we've got an India Porter. And it's collabed between Adnams, which I haven't had a beer, put a beer on this channel for a very long time from and thornbridge and we have a can of their nevermore super smashing great there you go cocking in at five percent it says uh our 2021 collaborator series focuses on our journey towards a sustainable food future working with like-minded breweries with each collaboration brew adnams will make a commitment continuing our sustainability sustainability story nevermore is inspired by a combination of adnam's ghost ship which is a belter adnam's ghost ship it was it's a real belter that i loved it in cans and thornbridge's wild white raven which is another belter of a beer to be honest um but we imagined using only uk hops uh named after Ed edgar Allan poe's poem the raven nevermore uses locally grown grain yeah so Everything's local. Two beers from respective breweries, which are crackers, belters of beers, bells of a beer, should I say. And a combined into one. So let's give it a go. I'm looking forward to this. I reckon it's going to be a belt. So. There's a slight roasty chocolateness, actually. Smokeness from from the can, not giving much away. So let's whack it in like you do, and see what it's all about. Yeah, you know both breweries in my mind are pretty pretty solid, uh, dependable breweries. I mean, Adams have done some cracking stuff uh, over the years, like the Ghost Ship. Um, I think they ease up IPA divided opinion. Then you got Formbridge, who you know. Are pretty consistent to be honest you know they, 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 you get them in the supermarkets all the time and to be honest there's never been a really really bad Formbridge beer was there really they're all pretty pretty you know solid stuff so there's two breweries which are very very consistent so being a glass it's not jet black I was expecting more jet blackness to this but it's it's like a slightly murky slightly it's like burgundy, kind of like shadow around the glass. Quite a thick head, two and a half fingers worth of sort of creamy head to it. So let's get the aroma. Get that back, blurry. Um, again, it's not, there's a slight smokeness, there's a slight charredness. I'm going to go in. Um, the hops are Chinook, UK, Harlequin, Jester, Mystic. I'm not familiar with a couple of them hops, to be honest. IBU 42, Malta, Amber, Brown, Chocolate, Pale Ale. It says, great with Port and Chorizo, Paella, or Wild Mushroom Risotto. Cheers. Roasty, smoky, ashy for me, not really getting much. I was expecting it to be a little bit more hoppy, a little bit more burnt fruit for me in this. It's, it's there, but it's not pronounced in the beer as such you're not really getting a real hoppy feel I was slightly disappointed with that i was expecting a little bit more sort of lemonless maybe orange but i do like the smokeness to this i do like the smokeness um looking at what i can get wild mushroom risotto i think it'd be a belter with definitely not too sure on the porn and chorizo paella though 
but with the risotto. Definitely. While I drink it, the mouth feels relatively smooth. You do get a little pocket of uh, charred fruitness, slight sourness. But it's one of them beers, you know, that I don't think I could really drink it on its own. I think I need to have that mushroom risotto with it. <laughs> I'm looking out. Why mushroom risotto? Oof, with this cracking. So for me, I will have this beer with food. I think it's brewed for food. Brewed for the dining table, boys and girls. One more for the road. It's nice stuff. Expecting a little bit more for me. Boys and girls, Adnams, Thornbridge, Nevermore, give it a go. Tell me what you think out there. Um, and yeah, it's uh, worth investigating. Worth investigating. Thank you very much for watching this one. Please subscribe, murder me in the comments and all that jazz. See all of you again on my next one. Cheers.